yo yo what's good this is a special video that i thought of not too long ago actually i thought of doing this video like um an hour two hours ago i was like there's something like special kind of video i was like what if i went to do a video which is like where did certain characters go today i want to ask everybody question where did ui goku go I want to explain where exactly what exactly happened to him. The reason nobody plays him. So to start this off, UI Goku, the menace of season three. He was out here killing everybody. He being played everywhere. Quote unquote, the best character in the game. I don't believe he was the best character in the game in season three. Apparently was, I guess, kinda, lol. But yeah, menace of season three. But we don't see him anymore anymore. And like at all. Like I stopped playing him. Favorite players stopped playing him. Even Lucar started up and stopped playing him. We don't see him anymore. But why? And he, here's the first reason. First reason, he doesn't do any damage. Especially now because they changed his combo routes. So if we start here, up, uh, H immediately changed that combo. That combo does not work anymore. That was his basic being. It, it, it's not a thing. You have to change it up a bit, which I don't know if it does less or more damage. But if I still played Yu UI Goku, I'd just be upset at the fact that that combo is gone. We got we got this combo pretty pretty much the same as last patch. Cool, whatever, right? Okay, but not really what we're looking for, especially compared to characters like. And Goku or Lab Code or Roshi. Roshi even does more damage than him now. He's old. Another another big thing about UI Goku is the changes on his flips from season three to now. This used to be a medium starter and it would do at least say five K on hit. Now now let's check how much it does on hit now. New combo route with Beam Super does almost 4k, one damage over 4k. You can probably optimize it. Depending on where you you know. It's 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 a lot harder to use. A big part of UI Goku now though, especially with offlines making a big return, especially with the world tour or the other tournament, blah blah blah. UI Goku needs a way to open you up. How is UI Goku going to open you up? Flips. Sure, at a mid level, he can open you up with flips, but at a high level, it's very hard because most of his flips are either fuzzy blockable, which is like basically delaying your block to a certain direction, or fuzzy jumping, which is just jumping but a little bit delayed. Most of his flips, even though it might force you to block depending on how you jump, so normal jump. This will force you to block. A super jump, no, will die. Like, super jump, if he super jumps over this, you're gonna die. Super jumps over the command grab, you're especially gonna die. You already understand that. Which is problematic, because this patch is a patch that's full of characters that can hit hard for, hit, for mixing you, right? So, if I mix somebody with Super Saiyan Goku, he would do, let's say, I, I don't know the Super Saiyan Goku route, but he would do a lot of damage. He would do somewhere around 5k, maybe, maybe 6. Let, let's see if I can hit a Super Saiyan Goku real quick. Go back to my roots. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe later, but you, you guys get the point. He hits... Every character hits hard, top tiers hit hard. So, what's making UI Goku special? UI Goku has his defensive mechanics, which everybody was dying about um, season three. Defense, his defensive stuff was his flips. This used to be a DP, not anymore. But now you get to call assist with it, so I guess that's pretty cool. But I would definitely rather a one that hits that high, especially considering the assist. I'll get into PSS later. 
this being frame one counter and now with the new limit break change you are capable of doing let's see if i can demonstrate this real quick um so you're capable of doing this level one now into level three which does a lot of damage which is really good does a lot of damage um i believe it's going to hit more, almost 6k or more than 6k yeah more than 6k a little bit more than 6k really strong for you Goku, considering what he's supposed to be 6h being another defensive mechanic people didn't use it that much other than me but people still hated it being able to cancel flips into invulnerability was very strong especially if you did it into a plus frame move but it's not that scary if we we're going to compare it to a character like jiren where jiren is doing frame one counters and frame four projectile counter quote unquote but it's actually projectile and physical and he if, when he's doing that and hitting you for like five six k no meter kind of you know you, you're kind of feeling it as a ui goku player you're like why would i do this to myself i don't understand and that that's uh that's one of the biggest reasons you don't see anywhere is every character is um for lack of better words gapping him all of his strengths right dp characters when they have their dp they do a lot of damage look at a dog go on dog go on can t be off his dp um if you have level seven with gogeta 4 you also can kill off a dp i'm sorry my words od um can a lot, a lot of characters are killing or doing overly sufficient damage such as Gogeta Blue who was hitting for like 9k off of his DP. Really strong. As one of the biggest things about UI Goku that nobody talks about is since he doesn't have a normal frame 1 DP. As you can see here, these are, he doesn't have a meterless frame 1 DP. His only frame one option, as long as I'm saying this right, his only frame one option is level one and level three, which is big because you, that means you can't do spark. Like if I'm if I'm Master Roshi here, so show you Master Roshi, this is frame one, and he, he's able to spark, which is strong because not only are you safe if you spark and block. But you also get a full combo if they don't. So these things become very strong because you don't have a get out of jail free card as long as you're Ui Goku. Ui Goku. Another another thing with Ui Goku. Another thing that gaps his um his character strength is having a slow beam. See, he has to do a whole flip animation before he gets his beam out. And then his Lariat. His Lariat seems really good, but it's not good at the places you want to be. So, this Lariat takes too long, obviously. This Lariat goes a little bit too short, but this Lariat is kind of just the right distance. But when everybody is moving back in a certain way, and... This, uh, you have a lariat that doesn't hit full screen in time and you can't hit to call your assist with. It's not as strong as you think it is. It's good that it's invo, but it's not really going to do the job for you. And another thing is that every other character kind of does a lot more damage than um, UI Goku off of his lariat too. So his, his damage output, again, is getting gapped. Uh, like everybody's out damaging him but uh, almost everybody i should say almost everybody's out damaging him almost everybody's character um area is either teleporting half screen they have a half screen normal or their lariat is hitting for like a gazillion damage now to go on to his assist this is this assist space game the, str the strongest characters do have broken assist or at least subpar assist i should say there's some characters that are just like don't have broken assist like blue vegeta is top tier but he doesn't have broken assist but 
Anyways, let's let's move to this this assist. Um, I it's a good assist. I never used it as much as everybody else did, especially when it first came out. But it was a medicine season three, just like the character. Everybody loved this assist. I was weird. I used I used the B assist. I was a little weird. Understandable, you know. You want to call me a weirdo? Understandable, you know. I, I that assist that assist helped me through the mud though. It it worked specifically for my team, so it was good. I think I thought it was good. Maybe I'd go back and play. Uh, not really. Not really. I'm lying. Not really. But Asus plus 25. Comes out frame 25. This assist used to be invul right here. As soon as I called the assist, it was invulnerable. And people were just sitting here. And everybody would be like, this is so broken. Look how fast it's in. But now the invulnerability is gone. Just an, it's just a regular, degular assist. Not, it's not a DP anymore, which hurt him. The defensive character, not a defensive assist, is you no. Know, we don't see that a lot, actually. Like Hit has his defensive assist. Um, I guess Jaren doesn't technically have a defensive assist, but you know, kind of work around that, I guess. Doing a lot. Anyways. Um, Roshi had his defensive assist. They took it too, but. We're not talking about Roshi right now. Um, Merlin has a defensive assist for whatever reason. Um, let's see. There's there's one more character that I'm thinking about. I guess 18, defensive character, defensive assist. 17, defensive character, defensive assist. Same, same thing. Same. Let's move on to his B assist. The B assist. Oh, that is not you. I go. B assist, my personal favorite. 39 frames, plus 30 on block. Typical beam assist, just a little slower. But the reason this assist was good, so there was a, I don't know if it's still in the game, might have gotten shadow nerf, but there was a certain frame of the assist when it came out. It was, it would jump over Kiba. And that was strong because if you were ever in a key blast war, you would just do this so they can't snipe your assist. Or you would jump around and call your assist while they're trying to snipe it. And they can't because flipping over it and they're gonna get hit by the assist which has increased hit stun as you can see increased hit stun because every every beam got buffed and every beam assist got buffed so makes it even easier to combo off of it very strong beam assist typical typical beam they buffed every beam in the game every every beam assist let's go on to his c assist that recently got buffed every c assist got buffed God forbid this happened, but it did. The assists now come out a bit faster, and if I can have this on recovery, um, I believe ah uh, that was gross. I believe they recover faster, so now it's take ten seconds, I believe, instead of the original thirteen, or it could be take a little, a little less than that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. Okay, not even his CSS work correctly. That's insane. Another reason you don't see UI Goku <laughs> anymore. His his best assist, in my opinion, is his B assist, but his B assist is in subpar. Yo, you get this cool you get your little cool confirm. Blah blah blah. But oh. No. What what use is that compared to like if I if I wanted assists like that, I would just play Majin Twenty. I would just play maybe um I would play eighteen. I would play um GT Goku. His his beam, you know, his beam doesn't hit the same angle as the words. I would definitely play Cell instead, even though his beam is a bit worse. Cell's beam definitely still like um does the job, and Cell's just a better character in general. So you know, not a real reason to play UI Goku. And I believe that that's every reason that you don't really see UI Goku. We could talk about his level 3 Oki, but there's none. Like, level 3 Oki or lack thereof. <laughs> he doesn't really have it at all, you know. So, all UI Goku has going for him is his his jab. It's very nice. It's very nice jab. But not doing much in a game where people do this instead. It's the same thing, just a medium starter, 
a little slower. So yeah, every reason you don't see UI Goku right here. And if you enjoyed. I, I actually do like this video idea. If there's a certain character you guys want to see next, no, not. I'll pick another character and see if I can get this series going. I think it'll be a very fun series. So get y'all peace.